Now let's go and animate our text. Well, for animating is you can do it manually, and also After Effects has got a very cool, you know, pre-made animations, you know, so that you can uh, go and just select it. So let's go and all right, you can, you know, play around with this this panel here, you know, so that you, you have more space in the timeline, you know. So this is like 10 seconds. The paragraph, you know, you can turn it off from here if you like, so that you have timeline. If you've got small monitors, you know, you can turn off, you know, these these tools so that you have bigger timeline, so you can see it better. Right. So select your Max After Basics text. Let's go to Effects and Presets. We are already here. Right. So let's go and click this arrow here. If you don't see the panel, go down and Browse Presets. Okay, when you click Browse Presets, it will open Presets, you know. This is uh, the Presets. Uh, here we've got lots of uh, pre-made animations, you know. You can apply it to the backgrounds, you know. So these are the animation that could be applied to basic solid layer, you know. If you have a solid layer, you can apply these animations. For example, so here we have got a whole list of animations, you know. You can apply it to solid layer. It's like smoke, you know. So let's go back to text. So you've got like all list of you know animations and effects. These are like transitions. You know, you can apply it to pictures. So these are very basics, you know. So you just make a new layer and just double click here, it will appear, you know. But in our case, let's go to text. So this is here, text. In text, you know, there are lots of animations, you know. For example, this is 3D basics cycle through them so that you you'll see you know lots of animations and then you can apply it right and uh, let's uh, so in a similar way you know these all you know animations are already made you can just straight away apply to your text so in our case let's go to scale right okay so this was the effect you know that I've applied so there are many ways of applying it you know you can double click here but you have to se first select the layer and then go back to uh, to the panel here and by the way if you go back to final you know this was the effect that we have used you know if you see the animation so if you go back to our tutorial okay so go to frame zero and um, then let's go to this filter here so now if you double click it should apply but here I've got some problem here, you know, for some reason it's not working, but I think you shouldn't have this problem. So it should straight away apply, you know, the text, um, the effect, and it should appear here. But um, I'll do another thing, you know, I'll go back here uh, and see the name of the effect, which is zoom forward dot FFX. So I'll go here, I'll just write zoom, you know, and it was zoom forward. So I'll go to frame zero and just drag it on top of it. And now, if you press U, it will af it will reveal the keyframes. So here you can see, you know, the effect is applied. But now we want to um, this effect is, you know, going away from the screen. But we want it the other way around, you know, for that. So we'll just switch the keyframes. So now two ways of switching the keyframes. One is just do it man manually. You know, just select the first one, bring it here, and keyframes are switched. So let's go control Z, I'll show you the other way. You know, so it's moving away, disappearing, so what we want it to, you know, bring it into the screen. So let's go and select both of them, right click, and if you can't see it, it's keyframe assistant, and go in there and click time reverse keyframes. So it has reversed the keyframes. So you can do it manually or like this as well. So now if you go back, you'll see the animation. So our basic text animation has been done. Now let's say you want to apply a little bit of blur to it. So this is motion blur. Here if you click motion blur, now it is the motion blur is on only for this layer. Now you have to turn it on globally here as well. So if you turn it on, the motion blur is applied, you know, and it looks cool as well. So let's RAM preview. By the way, ramp preview, you know, this is the selection area. You want the ramp preview of this section in only, you know, for one second. You can move it, you know, like this as well. 
but let's ramp you from 0 second to 1 second and so this is how it's going to look so it's a nice you know effect so similarly you can apply you know the other effects as well you know the ones that you like it's a very basic animations let's close this because we have applied our animation right so let's go to our project and see the next step that we're going to do go to my final here right so the car is moving in the text comes in at like two seconds at two seconds the text comes in so let's go back to our original let's go to two seconds and turn on our car as well you know entry as well let's close this so when our car reaches here at two seconds we want our animation to start so what we're going to do at the moment it started from zero but let's go to two seconds and drag this layer just select it and drag it from here so the animation will start from two seconds so let's go and render it see how it looks right so this is how it's going to look the car comes here in the middle and two seconds our animation starts so we have anim animated our text we have animated our car along with its tires which is um, front wheel and rear wheel one more thing I want to show you uh, in the car section is um, um, the anchor point you know for example the anchor point is here you can also move the anchor point you can also solo the layer from here so if you solo it you know you can only see this layer let's say um, control D let's say we make a copy of this you know we go to edit duplicate I'm just giving you an example you know let's go and remove the attachment from here so we go and say none so that you just want to see the animation still you know how it looks so right now the tire is rotating around this axis and let's say what happens if we move rotate if we move the anchor point now it's moving around that point what happens here so this is how you know the angle is what the anchor point does you can also scale it up you know but scale up you know should be with the shift key so it scales up proportionally selected shift and, and it scales up you know now let's say if you if the anchor point was here and the scaling up go to select tool and the scaling up will be from the anchor point so this is the anchor point here so these are the functions of the anchor point so let's go and delete it you are back you know in our so we've messed up the position of our tire so let's go and select it you know just move it you know where it was you can do it with the arrow key on the keyboard as well so that's how it is right save it save your work as well right so we have animated the car we have animated the text as well 